anyone who knows a bit of Singapore's history will know of Mr. Rajaratnam as one of the founding fathers of modern Singapore. He, together with uh, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew and others, actually had a hand in shaping and building uh, Singapore as we know of it today. He recruited me from the university to be Singapore's permanent representative to the UN. I have known Mr. Rajaratnam as the public man through his speeches. His hard-hitting speeches, his fiery rhetoric, you know, and sometimes quite vituperative re rhetoric. I also remember him as someone who was very good with words um, because I remember reading, um, you know, things that he had written or things that he had said. So he was both my boss and my mentor. We had a very long and very happy relationship. Quite inspired by how visionary he was and how he lived his life, the things he wrote. Um, he was then um, a senior uh, minister and as a young journalist, I turned to him for background and quotes and he was always very willing to help me. But when I walked into his office to meet him, I was struck by what a courteous person he was, how gentlemanly he was and how soft-spoken he was. I guess for me, one of the more enduring legacies um, of Raja Ratnam was his quest for a national identity. His lifelong quest was for a Singaporean Singapore. Bringing together all the different um, diverse cultures, races. In fact, we owe this to Mr. S. Rajanam, who we know uh, was the architect behind the National Pledge and behind the whole philosophy of multiculturalism. As you know, he was our first and longest serving foreign minister. He's both a, a strategist and a tactician. He had a big picture, but he also knew how to implement that big, big picture. He said, you know, we are a small country. You have to be charming, men or women. To him, progress means the development of moral and intellectual faculties, the progress of a nation in terms of the character of the people, in terms of the human spirit. He, I believe, truly felt that culture and the arts was good for the soul and was good for Singaporeans, Singaporeans' mental and spiritual well-being. It made us human. He gave the intellectual arguments, he gave a vision. He's a philosopher. He, he sought the truth in many, many aspects, many matters, many issues. Truth which transcend time and space. He spoke of a global city-state even before the term uh, became a well-used one. So this uh, showed his tremendous foresight. I think back to how this, this idea of a global city was so rooted in one of our Singaporean leaders from way back. I would say that, you know, a thinker would best describe him. Philosopher-realist. Wordsmith. Visionary. Intellectual. Born diplomat. Thank you.